hello everyone welcome to our second video in this uh, video we are going to learn how we can write playwright test from the basic from the scratch you can say so uh, as i have explained in my previous video like uh, in test directory uh, the test directory i have given this test folder so whatever test file i will add inside this test folder uh, that will be picked uh, automatically by this playwright tool so that's why I have created this login.spec.ts uh, inside this test folder. And in and inside this file, we are basically going to write our first test case. So how I can write this? So Playwright basically provide this uh, test uh, block to write, to describe your test. So I will add the description about the test, say should be able to navigate okay then i need to add this uh, the callback function here so the callback function here uh, <clears throat> inside this test method basically we are going to use the uh, await keywords to wait for a statement to be executed first then before moving to the next statement right so in order to use the await keyword we have to make this function this caller function as a async function right so that's why we are going to use the async keyword before this callback function hopefully there is a thing to error <clears throat> so what is next okay so i want to navigate to the browser url so how i can achieve that so first before first i need to launch the browser Then I need to navigate to the URL. And after that, I need to close the browser. Okay. So basically, um, so in order to launch the browser, so you there there are two ways that Playwright provides. Either you can use the global variable which your Playwright uh, provides, or you can launch the browser by uh, by yourself inside this uh, test method. Okay. So whenever this test method will be executed, as soon, uh, so there will be a before and after uh, block, or you can say the hooks. Which will exit, which will invoke the browser and close the browser once that this uh, test case will be executed. Okay, so how I can access those global variables? So uh, for that, I need to pass those global variables inside this uh, async function. Okay, so how I can access that? I need to use this uh, curly braces. So curly braces is uh, for the object. Okay, so basically, I'm saying I'm passing. Uh, I'm passing an object to this callback function. Okay, so there is a reference. Okay, so there is a reference for this browser. Okay, so we when whenever we launch the browser, we have browser. Then we after that we have the tag, right? And inside this tag, basically we are forming the actions like navigating to the URL. And then uh, doing the uh, actions like typing or clicking, right? So this browser for this, so whenever this uh, display right will launch the browser for this test, so the uh, the object reference for this tab is basically representing this page. So this page is nothing but just a tab. Of this, the of this browser, which is getting launched on the run of this test. So now, with the help of this page, basically you can use this page and uh, and directly navigate to the application with the help of this go to method. Okay. Let's suppose I want to visit google.com. Okay, so now this in order to wait for the statement to execute first before moving to the next statement, uh, we need to use the await keyword. Okay, 
So as I said earlier, if we, in order to use this await keyword, we have to make this function as a async, asynchronous function. If you don't use it, then it will give us error saying this, make this function async. So that's why we have to, means we have to use uh, async function. It means we can only use this await keyword inside this async function. So what if I don't want to use this page uh, fixture uh, directly from the global instead I want to launch a browser based on my requirement based on so let's suppose if I want to run this test with some particular proxy or particular uh, geolocation so how I can achieve that so let's see that like how we can achieve that so in order to launch the browser we need a uh, we need to understand like what kind of browser type we want to uh, we want to launch browser type like uh, chromium which playwright supports or firefox or safari okay. so once we identify the browser type then we can directly launch the browser using this command uh, let's wait launch browser equal to Chromium. So first we need to import the Chromium from this test library. Okay. Now I have this Chromium. So with the help of this Chromium, I am going to say launch this one. Okay. And inside this uh, launch, I can provide the parameters like proxy. If I want to run this task on particular proxy, then I can provide this. But as of now, we don't need it, so I will remove this. And I'm just explaining this, like as an example, how you can launch a browser by yourself. Okay. Now the browser is getting launched here, and uh, once we launch the browser, we need to navigate to the URL. But before this, we need to have this reference for this tab, right? So how I can get the reference using the browser of instance? I will say browser dot new page. Okay. So basically, I have to create the away. Okay. The issue is here. I'm not. I didn't put the await keyword here, so that's it. So now uh, we have the page. We have the uh, uh, reference of this uh, tab. Now, with the help of this page, basically we're navigating. Now, once we visit, uh, navigated to the URL, then we need to close this browser. How I can close this? Using this browser instance. I will say close and then I have to wait for this browser to get close. So for that, I am using this await keyword. Right? So now if I run this using the npm test, test, you can see the test case is successfully executed and it got passed. So this is how we can uh, write our test case from the scratch. So in next video, we are going to learn how you can run this test case in the headless and edit mode. And uh, further, we are going to see like uh, how you we can optimize this. Instead of writing this in the test method itself, we are going to use the v4 and after each hooks uh, to to launch the browser before the test and, and after the test, you can close the browser. So we are going to see that uh, uh, steps in the next video. Thanks.